So when we want to calculate the full body inverse kinematics of our robot, we need to make sure that we add the offset due to the location of the legs. For example, the, for this left front leg, we have some distance here from the center of the robot uh, that we have to take into account. And also, when we rotate the robot's body, for example, in this direction, the there will be not another um, offset. For example, I can show show you here. So, for example, um, if we want to rotate the robot's body around this axis, then we will have to add offset um, due to the rotation here. So we will have offset here and offsets here. So and also that that's true for this axis as well as well as um, this axis so usually we call this as roll and then pitch and yo so we, we have to add those offsets um, when we calculate the inverse kinematics using the um, the formula that we derived earlier. So the method to add all of those um, offsets is described here. Here, and it's a two-step process. And um, firstly, we have to make sure that the coordinate is with respect to the center of the robot rather than the with respect to the origin of the leg. So we add the leg's origin, and then we also subtract the center of rotation and by center of rotation, I mean um, sometimes we want to fix a certain point of the robot um, and then rotate the robot's, robot's other part around this point. And to illustrate this, um, I've prepared a sample script and, so, and this script visualizes the robot's current state and sometimes um, usually the robot will rotate around the center of axis. For example, if we add roll and then if we add pitch, um, the rotation is always around the center of the robot, which is around here. But sometimes we want to shift this um, center of rotation to a certain point, for example, the uh, uh, left shoulder of the robot. To do that, we simply um, add the coordinate of this uh, left front shoulder. Uh, in this case, it's well around uh, this value. And then, if we, for example, add, uh, then then we can see that the point gets fixed on that point. Uh, on in here, the left front shoulder is fixed now. So even if we do this, uh, it's always fixed. So um, this term here allows you to uh, allows the robot to rotate not only at the center of the robot but around a certain point in the space. For example, the left shoulder of the robot. And once you do that, you um, multiply by a rotation matrix or by an inverse of rotation matrix and this rotation matrix will rotate the coordinate by um, roll and roll pitch and yo pitch and yo and then we we'll give a new coordinate relative to the center of the robot and which includes all the effect from rotating and moving the center of rotation. So a, qu a quick experiment explanation on the rotation matrix. So uh, rotation matrix is cons consists of um, three different ro rotation matrix, uh, which each rotates the coordinate around z axis and y axis and then x axis. And if you multiply this uh, 3 by 3 matrix, then you will get another 3 by 3 matrix. And this matrix will rotate your coordinate according to 
the role, pitch, and your you give into this arc. So basically, um, by multiplying some x, y, z coordinate by this r, you will get a new coordinate that is multiple that is rotated by roll, pitch, and yo. So this rotation matrix is implemented uh, in Python like this. Uh, so it creates three smaller rotation uh, matrix, each corresponding to roll, pitch, and yo. And then it uh, those three rotation matrices are multiplied to give a full rotation matrix that allows you to calculate all row, pitch, and your rotation. So this is the basic implementation of the rotation matrix. And also, um, because we the inverse kinematics equations we derived earlier takes the coordinate that is with, with respect to the legs origin, we subtract the edit, we subtract the edit offset from the center of the robot as well as add back the center of rot uh, the coordinate for the center of rotation, which gives us this co uh, new coordinate, and this is relative to to the legs origin legs origin and we um, contain all the effects from rotating robots body as well as um, moving around the center of rotation and we input this coordinate into the inverse kinematics equation to get the final uh, theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 and that should give, uh, give us the um, values to control the robot.